the early 70s, America's railroads reached a critical juncture, the result of decades of restrictive regulation. Understandably, America could not afford to lose its vital rail connections to the industrial Northeast and Midwest. So with the Railroad Revitalization and Regulatory Reform Act of 1976, Conrail was created, marking the first of several large steps that would reshape the rail industry forever. Service and systems on the road to recovery, Conrail showed promise, but a major roadblock remained. On October 14, 1980, the rail industry took another giant step toward deregulation. For the first time ever, Conrail had the opportunity to compete. And employees in a landmark labor agreement enhanced Conrail's chances for success. Unleashed from decades of stifling regulatory control, Conrail could now compete. Hard work and tough decisions helped Conrail earn its first net income just a year later. But to remain whole, Conrail was once again put to the test. Tireless initiative and creative minds turned a once defunct rail system into an efficient, viable business. Conrail had won the right to be sold as a single entity. The Department of Transportation received 15 bids for Conrail and narrowed them down to three. But Conrail had its own idea for returning the rail system to the private sector. Conrail labor and management together proved their case and on October 21st 1986 Congress passed the Conrail Privatization Act paving the way for a free and independent Conrail but the sweetness of victory was to be short-lived for within the next few months Conrail was to suffer the most tragic accident in its history a painful lesson was learned that day it's a lesson that had to become a cornerstone of Conrail's culture. March 26, 1987 marked the largest public stock offering in American history. It also marked the official beginning of a new era for Conrail. The customer became the focus. Make the service better was an ongoing goal, which led to countless marketing innovations and new uses for technology. Door-to-door -door service. Enclosed automotive fleet. Rail truck transfer services. Steel net. Auto net. EDI and AEI. Business was strong despite economic pressures. Conrail, with the help of employees, found innovative ways to streamline operations without sacrificing service. It's time for Conrail to recapture the spirit that has helped it survive through a difficult, challenging history. Admittedly, the journey has had its share of detours. 
but employees have always managed to keep Conrail on track. We've learned much in our 20-year history, but most importantly, we've learned that almost anything can be accomplished when we work together. Together we can. Together we will.